Hey there everybody! Have you ever had something you take for granted stripped away for 5 days? Well if you're bored and need something to do, I would not recommend it. I would know that I don't recommend it because recently something I took for granted was stripped away from me for 5 days. My electric. And I can say firsthand it was not fun. So all of this began on Wednesday a few weeks ago during a really bad ice storm. We were having a snow day the next day so I didn't need to wake up early. So I was just sitting in my room doing something unproductive at 11pm as ice was encapsulating everything outside. Earlier in the day, my parents warned me that the power may go out, but I didn't think it would happen because the worst of the storm was already done. So imagine my surprise when my power went out, and I figured it was probably something small and the next day power would be back on by morning, so I went to bed. The next day I wake up and power is not back on. Also my house was now 64 degrees. My house was probably built by someone who didn't know what they were doing, so it's insulated weird. So for every night we didn't have heat, the temperature of the house decreased by 5 degrees. Now that day the power people said the latest everyone would be back on was Sunday. And my power company has a habit of saying something and then doing it earlier. So I figured that the power probably would have been on by the end of the day. But by that evening it wasn't back on. And at this point I had a bigger problem to deal with. With. If you didn't know, I own hermit crabs, and hermit crabs will die in temperatures under 60 degrees, and my house was hovering close to 60 degrees, meaning I had to evacuate these dudes before they suffered the same fate as Utsi the Iceman. So I called up my buddy Toby who normally watches my crabs, and he said, my dearest apologies Matt, but my power is also out, so I cannot watch your hermit crabs. Then I called up my buddy Charles and he said, L, no power, I'll watch your crabs, which is honestly a fair response. So that was good. My mom and I went to drive the Amelia Earhart Eaters to Charles' house. Then I went home and had fast food and went to bed. The next day, I wake up and school is called off. Also, my house is around 58 degrees with no signs of power being back on. Also, it snowed the last night. Now, there are a lot of things you can do without power, like go ice fishing or go to Cabela's. But my dad didn't want to do any of that stuff, so I had a few things to keep me entertained. The first one was reading, and I can proudly say that after five days without power, I am no longer illiterate. Also, another option was going with my mom and sister to the store, and I thought that could be better than sitting in a cold house, but I was wrong. And then the other option was taking a hot shower, and that was because of the fact that I have a pilot light, so I still had hot water. The problem was I had no ventilation in there, so my bathroom pretty much turned into London, but instead of fog it's steam. Anyway, that night I had fast food and went to bed. The next day I woke up with no power, but my dad told us something promising. Apparently one of his friends was willing to lend him a small generator, which he could use to at least heat the house using space heaters. I was also happy that day, because that day I was scheduled to hang out with my buddies at a party, which is way better than sitting in a 52 degree house. Meanwhile though, while I was at the party, my dad figured out that this generator wouldn't do much, and he was getting steamed. Every time he thought he got the generator working, 5 minutes later the generator would turn off, and he had to go out and turn it back on again. His efforts were pretty much in vain because when I got back home from the party at 10pm, my house temperature had risen about 2 degrees, which doesn't really do much. That Sunday I woke up and it was 50 degrees, and the power was still not back on. Also not to mention there's mold growing on the ceiling, and I'm now an ice wizard that can control all things cold, which is pretty much anything in my house. Also that morning my dad decided he had had enough of that stupid generator, so he decided to do something totally a normal person would do with his friend's generator. Take it apart. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if that's exactly the best idea. I'm not exactly a generator expert, but I do know that generators are sold by Cabela's and can explode. Eventually, he managed to get the generator working, which raised the temperature of the house to 60 degrees, which is great. Now my house isn't the same temperature as a Costco freezer. Anyway, the next day was a school day, so when I woke up, I thought surely the power would be back on when I got home from school. So I went to school, did what I do at school, came back home, and the power was still not back on. At this point, I was fairly done. What is going on? Why is this taking so long? How are we going to get rid of this mold on the ceiling? And then the lights came back on, and I went yippee, but only for a split second because somehow they managed to turn only half of our power back on. How does one even do that? Only half of the electricity was coming through the outlets, meaning the only things that we could do was charge small electronics, have partial light, and have Wi-Fi. No heat. Anyway, the next day I woke up, went to school, came back, and finally the power was fully back on. So what was the outcome of all this? Well, I'm now not illiterate. We have healthy mold growing on the ceilings. My neighbor's house flooded because of frozen pipes. My hermit crabs are fine. I'm now a user of ice magic, and we are still on thawing Bubaba and my dog. And I now have a fear of flickering lights. So not good. Thanks for watching.